Hi everybody, welcome to Tubes on Tuesday. This week we're going to have a look at a major structural change that's affected economies worldwide and how these impact on property markets. This structural change is a shift in economic dominance. The shift is from the US and Europe to Asia. Economic growth and unemployment in the Euro and US are abysmal. We'll hear doom and gloom out of the Western world for several years yet. But we should be mindful that the sun is shining very brightly in the eastern part of the world. Just look at the numbers in this illustration. Countries like China are probably most renowned for, for providing low cost manufacturing of clothing and textiles to the world. Many people will not realise that Asia represents 60% of the world's population. Large parts of Asia are regarded as undeveloped. China has decided that it wants to live in modern cities just like the rest of the world. Most of Southeast Asia has already commenced an unprecedented generation of urbanisation. This means that they have very high appetite for consumption. In China alone, the volume of urban housing built over the last 200 years is expected to double over the next 13 years. That's an enormous amount of construction. Look closely at the red bar in this graph. This represents the forecast growth in Asia's middle class. In 2009, Asia's middle class looked similar to Europe in the grey and America in the blue. Rapid urbanisation is turning many of Asia's, Asia's slums into modern communities. While other continents around the world are expected to remain much the same, Asia's middle class is expected to grow from half a billion people in 2009 to a staggering 1.7 billion people in just 11 years and then to 3.2 billion by 2030. It's misleading to, to refer to this as a boom. It's bigger than that. This is a resources revolution. Growth in Asia is underwriting Australia's economy and it's going to continue to do so for many, many years. Really Australia is Asia's food bowl and the key to property investment opportunities in this Asian century is understanding what commodities Australia has that Asia wants and then understanding the process that it takes to get these commodities from soil to Asia's ports. Iron ore is a core ingredient used to make steel, to build cities, homes and machinery. Australian companies such as Fortescue Metals and BHP are investing tens of billions of dollars on large iron ore projects. Gas, coal and even uranium, these energy sources will power Asia's urbanisation for decades to come. Australia has some of the richest reserves in the world. Our agriculture is also in high demand in Asia's booming middle class. Australian governments would do well to follow in the path of James Packer, who is actively looking to build new casinos and tap into the Asian market. He's a smart man. There's a significant $240 billion in major infrastructure projects already fully approved in Australia. And there's a similar value on the drawing board. This is the biggest investment that this country's ever seen. We're talking about things like ports, processing plants, airports, railway lines, pipelines. Office spaces are being uh, leased. There's demand for extra office uh, blocks to be built. And all these things create major revenue streams and major employment opportunities. In communities that these are occurring, we're seeing rents rising and home values increasing. The science from here is knowing how to tap into these fantastic investment opportunities. Is it at the coalface where workforces are digging the resources out of the ground? Is it in the cities where large volumes of administration staff and management work? Is it in towns where processing plants and ports are located? Or is it along the railway or pipelines which distribute our natural resources? So as we've seen, the world really has changed and the world is now dominated by Asia. This is not a blip on the radar, this is a new revolution. A lot of communities that might have been really strong property investment performers in the past are probably going to be in for some lean times for years to come. Conversely, we're going to see a lot of new vibrant communities evolving and property investors need to be mindful of these opportunities. Look, I really expect to see some trends starting to develop with immigration. I think we're going to see a lot of uh, overseas people relocate and some of those will come to Australia. Countries around the world that are exper experiencing uh, long-term high unemployment, a lot of people uh, won't be able to live like that. I expect to see a lot of 
internal immigration as well. A lot of people relocating from southern states to the uh, resource rich, uh, rich states, for example, such as uh, Queensland, Western Australia and parts of uh, northern New South Wales. Australia really is Asia's food bowl and it will create plenty of property investment opportunities. Join me next week for Tubes on Tuesday.